So, Margaret, you have had a lot of titles over the year. Yes, yep. she is our chief meteorologist. We know in the city she is the queen, <laughs> yes. the goat honey, even the <laughs> oracle. But the most important <laughs> one now is Ma Meg. And here's a glimpse of the small but major forces oh. that were really the driving force behind your retirement. True. Margaret Orr has certainly worn her fair share of hats or wigs over the years. It is moving now to the Northwest. She's been the comforting voice for all of us during a storm. It's about living, it's about celebrating life. That ray of sunshine on the parade route, but to the youngest and most important people in her life. My Meg has seeds. Okay, put one right there. And um, we put them in the ground. She's Ma Meg. I just want to be with my family and hug them and love them and see them walk. Are you going to walk one day? Her three young grandchildren are sprouting, blossoming just as quickly as her career in TV. And these moments with them. It smells really good are ones she wants to cherish. This is the purpose of my retirement, is truly to be with my grandchildren and my children. And my yeah, Thank you. <laughs> For 45 years, Margaret Orr has pulled double, even triple duty as a meteorologist, a mother, a wife, and now a grandmother. I mean, how lucky am I? I've got three children, a wonderful husband, and oh, three, three grandchildren. Children. I know, three grandchildren. And that's who I'm going to be spending my time with. Time she knows she won't get back. And so all of a sudden I realized I can't go to the baseball games. I can't go, you know, and do a lot of things with them because I work so much. And I went, it's time. It's time. It's time for me to spend time with my family because I missed with my children. I don't want to miss with my grandchildren. Her son Alden remembers what it was like growing up. To the public, she's Margaret Orr. And to me, she's mom. Knowing his mom was working those early mornings and then late nights. Coming home from school, coming home from swim practice. I remember when she was getting up early, it was be quiet. Walking in at 6 p.m., it was, shh, be quiet, mom's asleep. And we had to be quiet at 6 p.m. But he recognized at a young age how extraordinary she was and is. Um, I think I was there when, when the Margador fan club started at Della Chase and being like a six-year-old and seeing men dressed up as my mom, when she would broadcast from Della Chase in St. Charles, that, that was interesting. Seeing the dance group that dresses up as her now, that's, I get a kick out of that. And um, it's been going on for a long time, so I'm used to it, but I still laugh. He now gets laughs and joy out of watching his mom interact with his own children. What's your favorite book? <laughs> Investigators. I know he reads lots of books. So what else are you reading right now? Agents of Fate. Agents and the beginners of, of and the Beginner's Bible. Oh, and the, oh, we bought that at Barnes and Noble, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Barnes and Noble's one of their favorite outings, plus playing chef. What do you fix for Mom Meg when you go to your play kitchen? Uh, pizza. Yeah, we like pizza. Alden says he may even convince her to go back to work, just in a different capacity. Well. Here's the inside scoop. She's actually not retiring. She's making a career change to being a full-time babysitter. So uh, she might need a trade in the car and get a minivan. For Margaret, though, even on the job, she always felt at home because New Orleans and its people are her family, too. I'm from here. I consider the people here my family. So when I'm at work and there's severe weather, I'm taking care of my family. She's also encouraging everyone to stop and smell the roses, so to speak, or the petunias or snapdragons. My advice is live life fully, <laughs> completely, and be passionate about what you do. Because this place is like no other. Live life fully, celebrate life. We've got so much to celebrate here. And neither is Margaret Orr. And we've got a little surprise, too. We're unfortunately nearing the, the end of the show here. We do. We have a surprise. Just one for you, Margaret. Oh, goody. Okay, listen. I've, I've had a million surprises. <laughs> I know. We <laughs> had to dig deep in the vaults for this yeah. one. Okay, yeah. let's see it. All right, so let's take a look. This is from 1996 as WDSC was preparing to move from the old Royal Street Studios. Take oh a listen. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to miss this old place. I Whoa. grew up here. Such a I was a kid when I started. I am here at 13. Well, I was a little older than that. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I've been here for 16 and a half years. I'm going to miss it. They have actually been here longer, but he's not going to miss it. Won't miss the mold and the mildew and the dust. <laughs> 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 
we are certainly going to miss you so much. Well, you know what I'm going to miss about you, Margaret? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Margaret is here, and she dances when the camera's not on. I know. I'm a terrible that. dancer, terrible singer. It was so much fun looking back. But wait, I want you to know, I went to bed at 6 in the evening because I got up at 1 in the morning <laughs> and was at work at 2 in the morning and then worked till about 1, sometimes 2 in the afternoon. So we want to give you your, 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 right. your space, your stage here. This is kind of your, your moment. So I get to talk? Yeah, to we, talk we can talk about <laughs> you, but it's your turn to talk it's right your, now. I think people want to hear from you. Gosh, I just don't know what to say, except that I'm really going to miss all of y'all. Mm -hmm. um, I love my, my job. I've, I've loved working here at WDSU. I love all of you. You mean so much to me. You are my family. So I'm, I'm going to hate leaving, but y'all, it's just time. I need, to, um, I need to spend time with my grandchildren, with my children, with my family. You know, time waits for no one. So that's what this is about. It's about um, being with my family. So here, 45 years at WDSU. You know, I never wanted to go anywhere else. WDSU is home. New Orleans is home. My daughter even once said, I love the dirt here. Mm -hmm. And I totally agree. We grow the best tomatoes, satsumas, <laughs> and people. We are unique. We live big, eat crawfish, oysters, gators. We sing, we dance, we live joyfully. We celebrate strawberries, fried chicken, and dewy, and all that jazz. We are a strong and determined people. We are survivors. We fight hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, fires, fog. We come together to help each other in times of disaster. We are a wonderful people. How thankful I am that I could work among you all of these years and do my part to help keep you safe when the weather was bad. I'm thankful that I could celebrate the good times and dance as the queen of cotton candy.